Hello there, Sensei Victoria Whitfield here, your journey partner in business, founder of strategicmeditation.com, where I help impact-driven entrepreneurs and leaders like you get and stay grounded and clear in mind, body, and business. And this is your seven-day energy forecast for the week of April 16th of 2023. And what I love about these forecasts is it really helps you plan your week ahead. And by the way, have you liked and subscribed on YouTube? You get the notifications first before anybody else as soon as one of these forecasts premieres. And I premiere them on the Saturday so that as you're doing your Saturday morning planning, you are ready to go for the entire week ahead. So shout out to you if you are here for the premiere. Thank you, thank you for your support. I hope you have your pen and your pad ready so that you know what's the forecast energetically for the week ahead. And what are we forecasting? This is what do we need to be on the lookout for that is going to affect our ability to engage with our teams, our systems, our technology, our industry, our clients, our prospects, right? What is going to affect our ability to be productive and have traction in business as conscious entrepreneurs, as energy sensitive and energy sensing leaders? What do we need to be on the lookout for, right? And that's for the week of April 16th of 2023. So we've got a doozy. (laughs) So buckle up. Here we go. I've got my flowy on so that we're ready to talk about what's about to happen because we have this week, not only the new moon, which is new beginnings and receiving, right? It's starting over at the new level, right? The new lunar and Freudian cycle. We have that on Thursday. And then the very next day, we have Mercury retrograde. On April 21st, we are going full tilt into a retrograde in Taurus. So happy birthday to all my Taurians out there. And Woo, this is going to be exciting because this is just over three weeks of the planet of Mercury going into retrograde. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, right, I've been doing these YouTubes weekly for, my gosh, at least a decade, at least a decade. I know I've been in business 13 years. Um, but time and time again, we've come back to the discussion of Mercury retrograde. And this is important to have every time it comes around. And it comes around just about every quarter um, each year. So it's a very common occurrence that for those of us who are watching energy trends and who are manifesting with the moon, right, or trying to make sure we stay clear of any cooties, uh, emotional, physical, financial, social cooties, making sure that we stay clear and grounded and aligned with abundance, we need to know about what to do during Mercury retrograde. And so this is another infradian cycle, just like a menstrual cycle um, in the body of a woman, how every month-ish, right, she has a clearing. So, and it can be painful, it can be exhausting, yet at the same time, it is a reflection of all that has been built up and all the potential to create And it is meant to flush out and clear the decks to prepare for the next productive cycle. Yes, yes, we understand that as a woman's infradian cycle. And there are so many infradian, by the way, like if you don't know what an infradian cycle is, circadian is circle around one day, infradian is outside 
outside of the day, right? So anything longer than a day. And so we're looking at the infradian cycle of Mercury retrogrades. We got another one coming around. So I always like to think of it's our wonderful galaxy having its menstrual cycle. <laughs> Be kind to yourself. Women, yes, are effective, but men and trans people and the rest of us, you are not safe. <laughs> so here's the thing. There's a lot of negative press around Mercury retrograde, um, especially amongst the energetic community of like, oh, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your contracts, hide your money, hide yourself. It's coming around again. It's going to get us. And that is not helpful. Anything that is fear-based um, is actually draining of your energy. So I want you to celebrate the fact that it's Mercury retrograde because what that means is it's essentially like a spring cleaning of your energy and of your systems, your technology, your communication, your commerce, right? So travel, commerce, our communication, our technology, our teams, all of these things are affected by Mercury, right? Um, and this is meant to be a deep clearing and reset and audit. So things may go on the fritz, yes, during a Mercury retrograde. You may have issues with you know, um, I've had people who've had their fridge break down. Like, when the heck does a fridge break down clear out of nowhere? Or the internet has issues, or your laptop is crazy, right? Or um, then you'll have travel issues of, like, getting delayed or rerouted. Um, or we'll have communication issues where, like, there seems to be some sort of a misunderstanding between myself and my team or myself and my, uh, re like my personal relationships or my client, like something's just like, uh, we're not, we're not on the same page for whatever reason. And then commerce, there can also be some things on the fritz of, okay, maybe the merchant provider, we need to like reevaluate what the heck is going on there with the credit card processing or something going on in the industry that is really shaking things up commerce wise. But all of the above is happening for you, not against you, for you, not to you. Remember last week we talked about being the victim, not telling a victim story. So, repeat me. This is happening for me. This is happening for me. If you can't say it out loud, type it in the comments below. This is happening for me, right? And keeping that mindset. So, just keep that open. Keep that open up in your screen of like, this is happening for me. There is a clearing happening right? Making the way for new life, new productivity to be reproductive. I am very fertile. I am preparing to reproduce, right? And become super productive in my company, right? In my life, in my relationships. This is a very fertile life that I'm living. I'm a very fertile, creative person. And that is why Every so often we need to take out the trash. Yes, yes. So being in alignment with that and open to it. My spirit guides are saying, pull a card. So for the week of April 16th, we have a challenger card. And that is the six of fire. So you know, I don't know if you could see that. Six of fire. And coming as a challenger, it says, victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. So fire in this tarot cards deck has to do with action taking, right? And being about it, putting your pedal to the metal, having traction, getting things done. That's what fire is about. And then six is progress, right? Progress, growth, expansion, building on what was 
from before, right? Opening up and moving into new territories. When it's upside down as a challenger, it means I am struggling to see the progress. I am struggling to make progress. I am struggling to acknowledge that progress, growth, and expansion is happening because apparently all hell's breaking loose. And apparently with all hell breaking loose, that means that that's a bad thing. It doesn't mean that we're finally breaking loose from hell. <laughs> that all of the hell that has been held inside is now being set free and released and cleared. I don't like this image, but I will share it with you out of obedience. Um, my spirit guides are saying, imagine kind of like vomiting. That's all hell breaking loose. But how do you feel afterwards? Yay, I'm a brand new person. I've been set free from the gross, awful, nasty, toxic things. You know, clean and light and kind of exhausted and, and, and all of that, yes. But we want you to think of when some stuff happens this week that um, can be a little bit frustrating, activating, and triggering, remember to say, this is happening for me. And it's a challenge, so that means you are being actively invited to do this. And you will have to actively re-invite yourself, challenge yourself to pause powerfully and say, this is happening for me and choose to sit, sick that pit bull of your awareness to go and find how that is true. Because you're very good. My story is your story, your story is mine. I'm very good at finding why things are against me and I am very good at telling the story of how this is awful and exhausting and blah, blah, blah. That muscle is overdeveloped. It's kind of like a bicep. The tricep needs some love though, right? We need to kick back and get connected to actively telling the story of how this is happening for me and here's why. Ba, 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 ba. You're gonna need it this week and you wanna have that as your armor as you go forward into this retrograde, especially with it being in Taurus. Taurus is all about stability, sensuality, things being the way that you expect them to be and going your way. <laughs> so if we're having a retrograde in that, it's like things are not going to go the way that you expected. But know that that's happening for you because there is a better way. There is a cleaner system and you are being manually cleansed out so that you can run at a finer higher, smoother level, right? Just because you've been doing things the same way the whole time for the longest time doesn't mean that it's the easiest, the lightest, the most productive, the most effective, right? The, the best way for you uniquely to do it. Maybe everybody else has been doing things a certain way traditionally, right? That Taurus energy. But this Mercury retrograde, it's time for you to tune into Mm, a revision of the system. Systems analysis, systems review, and systems upgrade in all ways, and so it is. By the way, do you need help with that? Do you need my help with that? If you would like my help with that, make sure that you reach out, 732-903-8573, right? Or you could send me an email back at team at victoriawickfield.com. That comes straight to me. Text is the best, as always, right? So that you can set up our one-on-one -on -one call. Let's talk about it, right? If you want my help with keeping you grounded and clear during this and any Mercury retrograde, you know where to find me. Don't be shy. And by the way, do you know someone who's getting hit kind of hard this week um, emotionally, energetically, and they need some support from someone who you know, like, and trust, 
who you know is going to take excellent care of them, send them my way. I'm here and I'm happy to support, right? Don't be shy. I've been out speaking and connecting with more entrepreneurs and leaders like you. And this is a hot topic right now, being able to have a sense of energy mastery so that we can be effective in serving the people that we are called to. What to do about that, how to do it, as well as how to beautifully communicate that to others with grace and ease and consistency. So I'm sending you so much love, right? Accept the challenge. This is happening for me, right? Keep that in your pocket and I will see you next week. If you want to come visit me, I'm on all the things at Sensei Victoria Whitfield or at Sensei Whitfield. You can Google me, Sensei Victoria Whitfield. And if you haven't yet liked and subscribed here on YouTube, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to be extra special, you can send me a super thanks here on YouTube. You know, I've been putting out this information for free for 10, 13 years. And if it has ever blessed you, don't be shy. Show some love and support so that I can keep at it. Mwah, I love you for those of you who do that. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.